why bother with the huge expense of buying a car when there's a pay-as-you-go one available just a short walk from your house? That's the idea of Streetcar, a scheme that's just a little over a year old, covering central London and parts of Brighton and Southampton, with plans to expand into Bristol and Oxford. Now, renting a car by the hour is popular in America, but is it really viable over here? I've decided to try it for myself to find out, and to make sure I get the authentic customer experience, they've no idea we're filming. First, I had to register online, pay a £25 joining fee and a £100 returnable deposit. Then a friendly streetcar operative called me up to check I was who I said I was and put me in a conference call with the DVLA to make sure my driving licence wasn't a work of fiction. It's a potentially tedious process, but the system worked well. Once a smart card had arrived through the post, I was ready to test the next stage. You can book by phone or online. I've chosen online. Go into their website, you can put in the postcode of your location, and it brings up a, an excellent chart of the availability of cars nearby. Booking is simple. You highlight your desired time slot and click confirm. Then a minute later, you receive an email and text message with all the details. It's looking very efficient so far. I've chosen a car which is just a short walk away. I was expecting some sort of swish, well-lit car park, but this one's kept down a back street. Ah, all street cars are unmanned, and all are golfs. I'd expected the car to be dirty and full of litter, frankly, but the outside looked fairly clean, except for a mark on the bumper from a previous outing. Now, you don't get into the car using the key. You use the card they sent you, and you swipe it across this detector on the windscreen, which automatically opens the car. The actual key is kept in the glove box, and I've got to punch my pin into this sort of combined radio and control unit the first time I start the car up. It's fairly clean in here, too. And although there are no luxuries, sat-nav would be nice, there is a road atlas provided, with a message on the front saying, please be considerate to other members and leave it in the car when you've finished with it. Which kind of sums up the whole experience of the outfit so far, really. It's like an enthusiastic car club. The more dubious aspect of that is that all the cars are given names. This one's called Cornelius. Mm. The pay-as-you-go rate is 4 95 an hour. The five will only get you three or four miles in a cab, so it sounds pretty reasonable. Hire it for longer, say a whole weekend, and the cost is £49.50. That's roughly comparable to the major hire companies, but there is the small matter of petrol to consider. The first 30 miles of petrol per day are free, but after that I'm charged 19p a mile. So for long journeys I could be seriously better off using a normal rental company. While we're on the subject of petrol, it's just over a half full. If it gets below a quarter, I've got to refill it. There's a fuel card here in the dash, or I get fined for bad behaviour. Now, I'm not usually naughty, but just this once I thought I'd give it a whirl to test another aspect of the streetcar system. Now, I'm coming to the end of my booking, but unfortunately there's a bit of traffic and I'm nowhere near the station where I've got to return the car to. But apparently, if I press yellow and green, I can call streetcar and extend it. Street car, are you oh, hello. I was, I'm just running into a bit of traffic. I wonder if I could extend the car for a bit. OK, which location do you have the car from? It's from Angel. No, that makes sense. Okay, no. Um, what time do you think you'll get it back? Well, I actually, I'd quite like it for quite a bit longer. Is it possible I could keep it until six? Yeah, that's fine. Brilliant. Thank you very much. In central London, you're never more than a ten-minute walk from a streetcar, though the major drawback is you have to return the car to the place you collected it from. Not being able to make one-way journeys is a big inconvenience. When I arrive, the onboard computer calculates how far I've been and beams the data back to HQ. Then all I've got to do is put the car back where I found it, with the keys in the glove box, and lock it with another sweep of the card. Now, I've sampled this scheme a few times, and it's always been a pleasant experience. I think it's great for occasional use, and with a lifetime membership of £25, there's hardly any reason not to be a member. If you live somewhere where parking's a problem, or car crime's a nightmare, then it's a real alternative to ownership. And with the money you save, you could join a supercar club as well. That way you could have a golf for running errands and a Ferrari for the weekends. <laughs>